Well, we've got John Corbin here in the Fox. Um, what got you into this, John? Oh, I sailed a bit as a youngster, you know, 19, 20, 20 years old, and then I sort of had a, a boats for 21 years. A little bit of rowing, but when the opportunity came to get back to the old years, 40, I jumped at it. And then a couple of years ago, I went to Central for a new boat. I thought, I'm not going to fast enough, but never mind. Never mind. Oh, yeah, Causey sort of sucks you in there, didn't he? Yeah, yeah well, Causey's got a idea. Causey's got a few guys in the sports, so that's good, you know. Yeah, he's, been, he's been good for Tara, right? He's been good, yeah. yeah. Um, um, there should have been a couple more Tari guys down here this weekend, but uh, it didn't work out for various reasons, but next time we we'll get on. Yeah, sometimes family gets in the way, but, you know. So you've been putting a few bits and pieces here for the boats now, but you put, you put the 12 together and sorted that out, but now you're actually sort of supplying some blades and for it. Well, it's true. I built my boat, you know, I put a carbon boom on it and kind of word of mouth spread from there, and we've, we've sold uh, about a dozen booms since then. And then we started making centre boards. Initially, we were looking at Olympic class classes, but that's been a bit hard to crack into, but we've made some quite nice boards. But yeah, this is a good job. So you've cracked in the Olympic classes with your oars, so in other words, it's going to take too long before you start cracking the Olympic classes with the boat. Yeah, well, there's a few more rules involved with the authorisation of the boat, but we'll work on it. Yeah, you've been that sort of person since I mentioned that you're always working on it. You, you, you sound like Jude and have a good time in there? Oh, it's tough on the water. Not everybody sails with their wife. She thinks I'm a bad man, but never mind. You're doing the best you can. Yeah, I don't have feeling, mate. I don't have <laughs> My wife's at home wondering what I'm doing down here for the microphone. Well, you're going to write. So obviously, you're doing it. It's quite a few things. We're doing all right. We're doing all right. I got the new brother in law in the um, so, you happy with the boat and the way the swell's performing out there? Yeah, yeah, wouldn't mind. Uh, we've actually been filming with Anne's boat back at home and uh, a few more improvements that can be made. Yeah, yeah I, I think you're right, I think you're right. You've made a mistake, a fair chunk to have a go at it too. Yeah, so, yeah. it's uh, interesting to see what you can come up with. Yeah, so over the winter months, there might be some more boat modifications going on. It's hard to read, mate, I'll tell you. Since I've been in this place, those guys, you know, they're always having a look at something. Well, you know, you've got to find an easy way to get them finished. Oh, yeah, that's right. Right, that's right, we hadn't had to that point before and you were talking about how the class develops. Is that something that interests you? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you can go and buy a lot straight out of the box. There's not many places that you can play and, and they've got the boats quite hard to find the boats, so I think it's, it's good to have a story. And you found it affordable to get in there, just have a look when you bought your first boat, it was a cheap boat to buy and then have a look and see what you really wanted to do? That's exactly right. You know, it's only cost a grand to get into it and uh, you can get a perfect good boat for five grand or whatever, or you just can the money if you want it. Yeah, yeah, well, they can always catch up with the boys at the tower and get the information on those boats and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good. We're lucky we've got a couple of decent sales from them, so I can't be honest, I should just listen to them a bit more. I don't know, but the girl calls you decent, but no, it's been good talking to you, John, and we'll catch up with you in the season. Cheers, mate.